Because a lot of times we go through life and those thoughts, whatever decides to swim to the front are the ones that control us the most. Being in control of your own thought is a very powerful thing. So this is a tough week for me, right? Because I have a lot of things going on, right? Different things that I have to do, errands, things I need to do for the kids, picking them up, taking them places that is stretching me all over the place. And so normally in the past for me, right? All these would be instant excuses that would say, <clears throat> okay, well, it can't happen today, right? You can't get exercise today. You can't work out today, right? Or today you're going to have to break, you know, your windows of eating, or today you're going to have to settle for this or that or X, Y, Z. That would be with the past because there's, there's a lot of different things coming up, right? Legitimate things that is making this week very, very difficult to get in what I need to. But I feel the change, like, I feel the change in myself having developed the discipline. So before, in years past, without having the discipline plot properly developed and being dedicated to it, right, and not being fully committed, all these things would be easy. Like, I would accept the excuses easy. Yep, obviously, that makes sense. Yeah, of course, this is why I can't do that. Yeah, I've got this and that going on. But where my mind state is right now, is understanding all these things going on and at the same time it's growing and grown to this point where i'm constantly trying to figure out every day i'm thinking of how am i going to fit this in how am i going to get in my walks how am i going to get in my time at the gym right where i just had <clears throat> a day in this week where it was like i knew my day was going to be zapped i knew the entire day was stacked from 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 top to bottom and that there was going to be absolutely no time to do what i needed to do so First thing I did, I woke up, went to take kids to or see them to go to school, and immediately on that drive home before I got everything, before I even got home, right? And this is why I carry the extra clothes in my trunk, because I said, you know what, I'm passing a gym, and in this moment I can make a decision. In this moment I can make a decision. I will either continue the commitment and stay dedicated to the development of the discipline or I will forgo it. And that, that's it, I said I will either continue the pathway to success or I will choose to fail myself right now. Very binary, so it, it was a simple choice, right? There was no, there was no, either you're right here, you're right there, you have a small window of time, you can do something with it or you can choose to do nothing with it. Right? This is all about building myself and fashioning myself more and more into the person that can provide the most good and the most benefit and be the most effective, be the most efficient, right? Take care of the most people, make the most impact, be the most dynamic, be the most positively revolutionizing, right? That's what this is about, fashioning myself into an even better version, but just to be just unmistakably, unquestionably, unmovably that guy. And the way that my mind is working out, it's not easy to do nothing anymore. It's not, the, th the thought of doing nothing is not easy anymore. All I would be doing is letting myself down. But all this stuff I'm talking about, continuing the commitment, developing the discipline, st you know, stay on it, empowering, growing, mindfulness, blah, 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 blah. Like, what does that mean if in that moment, I would consciously choose to not move forward? If in that moment, I would consciously choose to let myself down, I, I, I said, no more, no mas. You will not do this to yourself again. And I turn right into that gym. Even though it's difficult, it's also doable. And I felt fantastic. I felt fantastic. I was so proud of myself. And that helped carry and propel the rest of the day to greatness. I proved that I'm not my past self. That the present me has grown and is ever chasing the future me that I desire to be. This is a huge part of what this journey is about for me. Right? I'm evolving in real time, growing, changing, learning, getting better, getting stronger, getting faster, right? Improving in different ways than I ever have before. Really being conscious of these things and focusing in on them, taking the time to realize the different thoughts that come to my head. Understanding that not all of them are good, not all of them are beneficial, and moving to a point where I'm very conscious of that and controlling the ones that I let lead and prevail. It's a big differentiator. Because a lot of times we go through life and those thoughts, whatever decides to swim to the front are the ones that control us the most, right? Being in control of your own thought 
is a very powerful thing. I mean, just yesterday we shot a food review thing. That's another thing that I do. The first thing I did before I went to the destination to go do the food review, I stopped and got fruit. Because I don't have any on me, I hadn't been able to go to the store yet, so we we're gonna stop at a store, and I'm gonna get fruits, eat those, and then I'll review whatever stuff that's happening after that. And when I did the review thing, I just ate what I needed to for the review, and I was cool. Yeah, I didn't need to keep going, keep eating it, because the past me, right, would just keep going, just keep eating, okay, just eat it anyway. You bought, like, no, I didn't need to eat that. There's people I can share things with, there's people I can, that, not that I'm not always shared, I've always shared things, but the point is, like, I don't need to eat the bulk of majority of any of this stuff, especially since it's not stuff that's great for me, it doesn't necessarily fit into the things I want to eat regularly, but I can have it. There's a whole other thing. I'm proud of myself, because I've been able to, enter, you know, I'm, like, that was a big introduction back to me because I haven't really had any things like that. And this was like really like casual style bar food for this place that we were reviewing. That was a mistake. That should not have happened. Yeah. The point is, right, that's the type of food that, you know, could eat all the time. I could eat a lot of, or if I ate some of it, right, I would feel the need to eat more because, okay, it's, it's it, you know, it's got those sensations. There's like a total disconnect where I, I cared for none of that. Right? Not the sweet, not the salty, not the crunchiness, not the savoriness, not the richness, not the umami. Although there was little, very little of that in what was being eaten yesterday. No good flavor in them at all whatsoever. But the point is, is like that connection feels like it's been severed to where the food was very emotional, right? To where that was the relationship. The relationship feels different. And this is a really important point because this is something I can continue to build on and I can build a better, a different and better relationship, which is what I've been doing and crafting. It's like, I, I don't need to eat any more of this, nor do I even desire to because it doesn't fit into what I need and what I want for myself. Not only did I know that mentally, but it feels like I knew that physically, like my body responded to that too. Like, okay, we need no more of this. Regardless of what happens with any of this, that I can do this today right that i can talk about this openly that i can continue to succeed as i have been this is everything for me Th this is every this is further than any point i've ever been at in the past regarding this subject and these subject matters and it's only the beginning and it's only the beginning i'm still at 0 0.1 zero to zaddy z to z it's kwame b